Right then guys, welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. This is episode 3. Okay, so these guys have managed to get uh, called up on international duty. So Wilshire with England. Well done, Wilsh. That's one that I'm personally really proud about, actually. Uh, well done, Wilshire. Um, the usuals then are Koscielny for France, Lacazette for France. Mustafi for Germany, Ozil for Germany, Shaka for Switzerland, Ramsey for Wales, and Ospina for Colombia. Uh, also, guys, we're just about to jump into our next game here, and Callum Chambers has said that he wants to start the next game. Uh, he did have a good game last time around, so I think I will give him a go. Alright, guys, here we are at Anfield. Here we go with Liverpool's lineup, guys. Mignolet, Klein, Klein Matip van Dijk, Robertson. Defence. Wijnaldum, Lallana and Henderson in mid. Stella, Firmino and Mane up front. What a deadly attack that is. Chambo on the bench, guys. And here we are with the Arsenal lineup. So, I granted Chambers his request and I put him in. He's uh, taken Monreal's place, but Nacho's on the bench. And there we go, guys. That is our squad for this game. Come on, you gunners. Bit of a rotated bench as well. Go on, play Mezzet through. Who's dropping down for Mezzet? He's whipped it. Mickey! Oh, he's glazed it over the bar, guys. That was a chance and a half. Yeah. Come on. Brilliant play. Back to Aubameyang. Testing the keeper there really does. Oh, and it's a goal. Jordan Henderson gives Liverpool the lead at Anfield, guys. The captain. Go on then. Go on, Pierre. Well, Bamiang's played Mickey in. Oh, and he's equalised, guys. Henrik Mkhitaryan's made it 1-1. And he goes to celebrate with the travelling Arsenal fans. Come on, Chambers. Come on, Callum. Oh no, it's 2-1. And it's Bobby Firmino this time that gets it. Ramsey. Oh, what a save. Mezut turns. Finesse. Oh. He had to be quick there. Yes, really clever play. Aubameyang. Oh, great save. Go on, Hecky B. Whip it in. Oh, Bamiyang's there. Oh, my God, that's a huge save. That's it, guys. That's fucking it. We've lost 2 1. I'm really gutted about that, guys, because we had a decent game. Alright guys, so here we go. So we already know our ins there, Cedric and McQueen, and no players have left us. I'm going to move on to, I just really fucked that up, Bournemouth now. So in, they've had Malini, they've let Stanislas and Mings go, which is quite surprising actually. Uh, Brighton have had Nuri, Foke, Fuchs and Pardo all come in and has let Rosemar leave. Uh, next is Burnley. They have signed Rojo, which is a big signing, actually, and Dolberg. Uh, and they've let Vokes, Arfield and Lowton all leave the club. Chelsea have signed Schmelzer, uh, which is a great signing. I presume that's the fullback from the German league, uh, Dortmund, right? Uh, but they have let William go, which is a big loss, in my opinion. Palace have welcomed Carlos Eduardo, uh, Cotterell, Kilty. And Anibayo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Some signings there, but a big loss in Wilfred Zaha. Everton uh, have signed Otavio, Bernat, uh, Bernat and Henriks. Uh, obviously, they let Coleman go. He's um, joined... Where did Coleman go, actually? Shit, I remember we were looking at him, but he must have gone somewhere else. Uh, Baines and Garber have all left the squad. Huddersfield have signed Kath. Uh, Fagundes and Somalia and have let Smith go. Leicester have signed Wang Shenchow, uh, Vine Vindheim and Carvello. 
uh, but they've lost Vardy, Simpson, Albrighton and Fuchs. They are all big names to lose in my opinion. Liverpool haven't signed anybody else, but they have let go of Moreno. Uh, Man City have let go of Danilo, which is strange, uh, but they've signed somebody called Chandler. Man United have signed Celebrate, and that's where Coleman has gone, guys. Coleman has gone to Manchester United, uh, and they've also signed another fullback in Ben Davies as well. Obviously, they let Rojo go, uh, along with Jones and Darmian. So, a big change in, in defence for Man United. Uh, Newcastle have signed the following Juame, uh, De Jong, Moreno from Man United, and Janschk. Uh, and they haven't let anybody go, so that's pretty good for them, I think. Southampton have signed Vasquez, Moore, and Gaia. Gaia is a very good fullback. And they've let the following players go Cedric and McQueen obviously joined us. And they've also let Ryan Bertrand go as well, who was another player that we were interested in. Uh, Tottenham have signed the Blessis, uh, and they have let Sissoko, Lamella, and obviously Davis has left as well. Uh, Herrera, Veltman and Lazovic have all been signed by Soap, but they have let Ramadan Sobby go. Swansea have signed the following players, Figueroa and Floriano, and have let Cullen go. Uh, Watford have signed Auburn. Baines, which is a big signing, I think, for Watford. Fair play to them for that. Uh, and Correa, and they've let Hollybass leave the club. West Brom have signed Alborn... Al Albanoz, I think you pronounce that, and have let Chris Brunt go. Uh, West Ham have signed Roll Albiol, I'm presuming that is, and Luke Garbutt from Everton, uh, but they have let Cresswell leave. And that takes it back to us. So that is deadline day, guys. Alright then, guys, here we are back at our home ground, back at the Emirates Stadium. And um, we need to come into this and try and pick up three points, you know, after dropping at Liverpool, we sit in the league. Yeah, we need to we need to carry on. Bournemouth are only eight, to be fair. Here we go with our lineup, guys. Um, Nacho's come back in for Chambers, but I have put Chambers on the bench. Uh, unchanged everywhere else, though. Um, just apart from uh, the bench again, just, just sort of still experimenting with the team. Ozil uh, whips it in. Mickey's there. Oh. Go on, Hector. Oh, what a goal. Aubameyang gives us the lead, guys. 1-0. Great play from Hecky V out wide as well. Well done, Ballerine. Straight to Aubameyang, and to be fair, he still had a lot of work to do with that finish. Oh, what a save. Well done. Well done, Chuck. Game. Ozil. Oh, what a save. Nice cross. Aubameyang. It's another save. Quality save. Begovic is keeping Bournemouth in this game. Go on, Ramsey. Oh, how have you missed that, Aaron? How the hell have you missed that, Ramsey? And that's it, guys. We do win just 1 0 there. Um, I mean, three points are three points at the end of the day. You know, I'll, I'll definitely take it. And we, we did have... Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I keep knocking the microphone. Uh, we, we, we did have more chances, you know, to actually get some more goals in that game, as you can see on the stats there on the right. Uh, and, you know, Bournemouth only had one shot on target, which I think sums up their performance. But um, I'm not going to give myself too much credit in that game, in all honesty, because I think, you know, we should be a team like Bournemouth at home. We should be winning, yeah. And keeping a clean sheet, yeah, but you'd expect us to win by about two or more goals at least, I think. Well, Alright guys, so it is Europa League time, we're going to end this episode with a Europa League game here. So here's our group, by the way, we've got Sociedad, Al Taku we're playing now, and Bromby. So here's our start in 11, I know some of you are going to see this and be like, what the fuck? Uh, literally two days from now, 
we've got we've got a day off and then the next game the next day we're playing Chelsea in the league so I've gone for a proper sort of reshuffle as much as I can and here is Altex lineup yeah I've gone for like a proper proper sort of switch off give some of the youths a chance guys you know and I still think we're capable of winning this with the team that we fielded. Get in, Lacker. Well in, mate. He really needed that, you know. He really did need that, Lacker did. Go on, Awobi. Go on, Alex. Oh, just wide. Unlucky. Straight after that goal. Good run, Alex. Go on, Jack. Oh, it's a weak effort. Nearly. Unlucky, Jack. Oh, God, such nice play. Just a weak effort in the end there. Oh. And there we go, guys. So we get the win there. Just 1-0 uh, in a game that was... I mean, we had a lot of chances in that game, again, to get more goals, but didn't really manage to. So the early Lacazette strike there was, you know, was the difference. And we've managed to get through it. Look... The way I'm looking at it is we've rested so many key players in that game. It's unreal. We've rested our whole strong start in 11 team. Uh, fielded a team full of youths. I mean, we had Lacazette, Wilshire, Cazorla. Uh, anybody else in there? Cedric Ospina in there. So five, five, okay, you know, sort of decent players. But then everybody else was youths. Everybody was youths, reserve players. They're all backup players at the end of the day. We fielded a team. We fielded a, a, a sort of, not even a B team, but a little bit a little bit over a B team, a little bit under a B team even, um, and still come away with the three points. You know, it's fantastic for us, able to rest some big players. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Now, I did say Cazola picked up an injury in that game. Um, he picked it up early in the first half, and I thought, well, I'll see if he can sort of ride it out. It got into the it got into the second half, and he still had this injury. So I thought, right, best bring him off. Uh, so he sprained his ankle and is going to be out for three weeks. And after that Chelsea game, we've then got a cup game in the Carabao Cup, and it's against Brighton. So, you know, again, really, we're going to have we're going to play obviously our strongest start in eleven in that game there. Then this one's going to be a sort of backup up again sort of game uh, against Brighton but we can't really rest too many players because Brighton they're quite a good side uh, but we are at the Emirates for that one then after the Brighton game we'll be ending that next episode guys with uh, another home tie uh, actually against West Brom uh, again so yeah should be good stuff uh, that's coming up in the next episode like I say if you did enjoy the video guys please do leave a like rating give me any feedback as well that you may have for me or if you just want to say hello, any comments you've got in general, feel free to pop them down below in the comment section. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in episode four.